I'm Lulu and welcome to Lulu's Way. I'm so glad you're here. And I am back on the beach after the nice uh, meetup I had. I decided it was beach time. And uh, one of the gals that was at my meetup just happened to park right next to me. That's Renee. And she's from New York. And I met her once before when we were in Greenfield, New Hampshire. Greenfield, New Hampshire. Last summer, had a meetup there. It was it was kind of an informal meetup. It wasn't the meetup like we just had where it was all organized and activities and all that. We didn't do that. What we did was I just booked a campsite in Greenfield, New Hampshire, and I let some of my subscribers know that that's where I was going to be. There were plenty of other, other empty sites, and they filled up with beautiful women, and she was one of them. And she's got a smile that would light up a room. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Thank you. And she's a lovely woman. And I said, what are you doing after the meetup? And she said, I don't know. I'm just going to go somewhere where it's warm and beautiful. And I said, well, I'm heading down to the beach if you'd like to join me. So she joined me. So we've been on the beach since, since Wednesday. Wednesday, we uh, left the meetup, so we've been here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Wow, we've been here a long time. Yeah. And the weather's been a little yucky. Huh. Very yucky, very windy. Yeah, windy and, and co cool with wind is no good. Today it's a little bit cool, but there's no wind, so it feels beautiful. It feels just beautiful. Um, so we've spent a lot of time just being in our vans side by side on the beach don't even see each other all day because <laughs> it's too cold and we both have tiny tiny vans like not really quite set up for company um but it's it's been kind of nice just knowing that she's right next to me you right. know and we'll just like text and maybe if we get like a, a second of decent weather we'll open our doors and then like the wind will blow in and we'll be like <laughs> bye <laughs> close, close. <laughs> but we've just been kind of doing our own thing and we both do our own thing well i think i find that a lot about people in van life um you really got to do alone pretty well right it's really a lot of fun to seek other women that are doing the same thing whether it's at meetups or you meet people on the beach like we were just here and this like little volkswagen bus went by and she was just saying on the other, this is her van, which is very similar to my van. On the other side of her van, she says, I think there's a van dweller in there, somebody living in their car. I saw them make their bed. And uh, so chances are before the end of the day, we'll know, we'll know her. We'll know her, I'm sure. We'll know her. <laughs> She's still inside, so. Yeah, she'll, she'll come out. Yeah, yeah, we won't knock. <laughs> 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 but you know, it's just, we, love to be alone and we love company and I just love a mix of it do you find that I do yeah I do um, just being by myself helps me to collect my thoughts and figure out what I'm gonna do for the day uh, but it's always great to run into somebody and talk with them and you know just little conversations here and there yes yes yeah. and it's not like you have to spend like even if the weather was nice and we were outside of our vans all the time it's not like we need to be outside of our vans, totally engaged with each other all day long. Right. Like, we don't need to do that. There's right. like, she's on doing her emails and texts, and I'm doing mine, and, and she's doing her cooking, and I'm doing mine, and um, anything goes. You just kind of do your thing, you know? And uh, so, uh, so Renee, you had a van before this. You had a I, I had an SUV before. Yep. And, and you had that in Greenfield. That's what I had in Greenfield. Yeah. And I was just beginning to build it out before um, somebody hit me and totaled it. So, uh. yeah. So I- It was when, you, when we were at Greenfield, was that your first time out? Greenfield was my first meetup, very first meetup. I didn't have any idea what to expect. I saw the video and it was funny because the video had been a few days old and then the meetup was going to be a few days later by the time I saw it. And I said, I want to go. And I watched the video. She said, contact me by email. So I did. And she says, this is where we're going to be. Come on out. So I, I did. And it was, it was a blast, even though it rained most of the time. It but did. it was a blast. I met some people. Yeah. And I just 
thoroughly enjoyed myself. And then since then, I've done a couple more meetups. And then when I saw Lulu's doing another meetup, I'm like, I got to go. I got to go no matter what. And All the it, way from New York to Florida. Th it was yeah, the blizzard great. was just starting as I left. It was <laughs> snowing that morning and I had to fight through snow uh, going through uh, southern New York State and into Pennsylvania. The mountains in Pennsylvania were horrible. But after I got past Pennsylvania, it was it was nice. I mean, we had a little rain, but it was yeah, nice. Yeah. It was nice. So when you went to that meetup in Greenfield, was that your first time out in your in your SUV? Or had I you had done just a little um, practice, yeah. you know, on my own at a local campground, and I felt like I was ready. So yeah. <laughs> when I saw that there was a meetup, I jumped right on it. When I went to New Hampshire, I just had a mattress on the floor in the back of the SUV and then all my storage stuff all around me and I took the seats out of the SUV and I had my son-in-law make me just a bed platform so that I could have the storage underneath and I was loving that I and I was ready to go on a different meetup at the end of uh, December and um, November 1st is when my car got totaled so I had to I didn't get my new van until the 23rd of December and it was just in time <laughs> you know um, to come to Lulu's meetup I yeah. I had even paid for the meetup before I even had another vehicle really I did <laughs> I did oh you just manifested it I did yes I did. knew I was going no yeah. matter what I was coming yeah so she's got a van very similar to mine and she's in the process of and, and and you'll be tweaking it forever if you watch my videos you know we just tweak and tweak and it just doesn't end so it's like there's always something there's I'm always gonna get my son-in-law or even my son both between the two of them I'm gonna build something in the back I'm not sure how I want to do it yet um, but I'm gonna figure it out while I'm out yeah. so for right now you have a cot and you have a cooler and you have your power stations you have two power stations right and you got drawers for the clothes and stuff and you got you got stuff under the bed right so you got you got it working and she's got the purple she likes purple it's my thing she's the purple girl she even got purple hair you can't see it right now but her hair is purple inside of her van is purple the lights in her van are purple at one point I was walking towards what I thought was my van and I was just like why does it look like this like <laughs> like ultraviolet light in my van like I wonder is something on fire <laughs> and I was like it was her van with the purple lights I was like oh it's not even my van <laughs> god I but love my purple she loves her purple I have her in my text purple Renee <laughs> so what was it that sparked your interest in in getting a vehicle and camping in it and traveling well I um retired in 2021 and I was pretty content the first three or four months to just sit around and do nothing. But, you know, that gets boring after a while. And um, I had gone to Key West with some friends and they were teasing me because I had been retired. They were teasing and said, oh, you could live in your car and travel around. Next thing you know, I got videos coming up on my YouTube. I originally was searching for what to do in Key West. And that led to a lot of RV videos, people uh -huh. in RVs and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden Bob Wells comes up oh, yeah. and how to live in your van. And it's easy to make it into something you can live in. I'm like, this is for me. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. do it because I've always wanted to travel. And I just th thought that it would cost so much to fly everywhere. And in my vehicle I can just do you know I can go 200 miles and stop there and see what's there and then I, next day I can go 200 more miles you know that kind of thing and you have all your stuff with you it's not in a suitcase right <laughs> it's it's, it's it, really good isn't it? it's really good it's, it's really right good. available I've got everything I need yeah, yeah. I, all my food it's just yeah. it's been great it's been great I went to a park yesterday and cooked up a bunch of food she had to go where it wasn't windy 
because the beach was so windy. It She's was... like, I'm going down to, down the street to do some cooking, get away from the wind. Yeah, it was But we, 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 we're struggling with like being next to the beautiful ocean or uh, going somewhere that's not windy or warmer, you know, inland. But I don't know, I, it seems like we're both choosing this because we can, each of us can do whatever we want. We can stay or go. Um, you know, just because I introduced her to this beach and she's here doesn't mean like I'm, we're married to it, you know. So I can just say, you know, I'm taking off and she can stay. Or she can be like, you know, I've had it with the wind, I'm out of here. And it's just like, just go. We can just, everybody can just do what they want to do, you know. Um, and I feel very free doing that. Yeah. And, uh, it's great to not have to be obligated. Yeah, and a lot of people in this lifestyle are not very needy of each other. They right. appreciate each other and they appreciate the company. But they're so independent that, like, there's not many of us that would say, oh, you're leaving? What am I going to do? You know, maybe if you knew. <laughs> maybe if you knew. Maybe if you knew when you kind of feel like you need a, a hand to hold. But you get seasoned pretty quick. Yeah. You do. Yeah. You do. Especially when you take a, a long road trip, like, from New York to Florida. You kind of, by the time you get here, you know, you've, you've been on, on the road, living really off-grid you know, um, figuring out how you're gonna, where you're gonna sleep and figuring out where you're gonna go to the bathroom and how you're gonna, where you're gonna pull over and how many miles you're gonna do. And by the time you get there and you're, now you're parked in a situation, that's kind of, it, it, it's like, oh, this is easy. <laughs> Very easy. <laughs> Once you park, I mean, you don't have to go check in to a hotel or anything. Yeah. You're, you're already there. You you're there. just get yeah. in the back and do your thing. So what we've been doing every day is we come down to the beach, rain or shine, wind or not, um, and just making the best of it. And I've been so busy with the meetup and planning the meetup and then having the meetup that a lot of different admin projects of my own, my own personal life have been neglected. So I just had, you know, God gave me the windy cold beach to say, you know something? You can look out your windows and see the beautiful ocean while you take care of your business. <laughs> Get it done. <laughs> and uh, just so many like little loose ends of little things. And um, and I've got it all done. So that feels really good. And you were working on a lot of stuff. Too. I keep rearranging. Every day yeah. I rearrange. I'm just trying to figure out what's going to work best for, yeah. for me in the long run. Um, I mean, I don't, it's, nothing is built. I don't have insulation or anything. I didn't even have Reflectix for my windows. Um, but I do have some curtains that I can put up. And since it's all uh, metal, I can use my magnets nice. to hang stuff. Um, yeah. But I am thinking about getting a curtain rod for the front because um, it seems like the headliner comes back very, very far. And just hanging, to be able to hang the curtains on the magnets, it's, then I drape it over the seats and it's just, it's cumbersome. If I can just have a curtain rod that goes right across the seats, it would be easier. Yeah. So how much fun did we have at the meetup? The meetup was fantastic. We had so much fun. Oh my goodness. And Renee was my dancing and singing buddy. <laughs> she was... A dancing queen. I love our you. impromptu karaoke. That was great. Oh, yeah. In typical Lulu fashion, um, anytime there was a spare moment, I would put the music on and people were dancing. I don't know if we were like getting ready to play the bingo game, but like we were still waiting for people to show up. And I was just like, oh, let's just put a couple songs on, you know. <laughs> so we just had so much fun. So at the dance party on Monday night, there was the dance party. And um, that is in the video. Uh, unfortunately, that um, the pajama party dance party the night the n next night, I didn't have any video of that. I just didn't I didn't take it out. I just didn't think of it, and I it's okay. I just didn't. Um, but uh, at the Monday night dance party, <laughs> this woman, this woman had her she had this uh, she had this fitness watch that said detected fall, <laughs> sending SOS in ten seconds. <laughs> 
Too so funny. if she didn't see that in 10 seconds, there would have been an ambulance called. And then I show up and I've got my tambourines and we're playing tambourines to the dance. <laughs> the tambourines, whenever you showed up with those, I was like, she made room in her van. The first thing I thought of was you made room for, for those in your van because those took up some space. It was a last minute thought. As I was going out the door, they were sitting on the stand, uh, my TV stand. And as I was walking out the door, I looked at them I'm like, just grab those and I... <laughs> So why do you I have those tambourines? Are you, are you, do you play? No, I just, I thought it would be great to have the tambourines. Um, I took them to karaoke a couple of times and oh, okay. my grandkids love to play with them. So yeah. Oh, good. they yeah. make noise. I was wondering why you <laughs> owned them. Cause they're nice. They are nice. They're, they were fun and people enjoyed them. Yeah. <clears throat> then there was another woman that came up to me and she says, Lulu, I have a Fitbit and it just, it told me I just danced for six miles. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She goes, that's an idea for six miles. <laughs> oh, my God. So we were, we were, oh, my God, we were. We were like teenagers. It was so much fun. We were. Yeah, we were like teenagers. We were just killing it on the dance floor, having so much fun. The next night, the, the pajama party, dance party, was not on the schedule. But we had so much fun the night before. We've like we've got to have we've got to do it again because there was nothing slotted for the night. Right, and the schedule had got rearranged that yes. day. So yeah, so we had danced in the morning, and then in the afternoon was the uh, was the, the more subtle activities, and and I don't know whose idea it was, but we was just like, how about if we have a pajama party, dance party tonight in the pavilion? Of course, the tornado's coming through, so we're like, well, we'll see we'll see what happens. We'll see if we can do it. And um, it turned out that, you know, nothing that a little umbrella didn't, didn't take care of. I put, my, I put all my uh, music equipment, my, my Bluetooth speaker and everything I was going to play, I put everything in a plastic bag and tied it up tight. So I had it under my umbrella, but I just wanted to make sure none of that was going to get wet. And uh, went down there. <clears throat> then there was like, I think most people chose to stay in their vans because the weather wasn't terrific, but there was no tornado, it was over. And uh, so there was probably about 10 of us, I'd say. About that, yeah, yeah. And we, oh, we had a blast <laughs> because we just found ourselves, it, we found ourselves, I mean, we were dancing, but we were more singing. Right. It was more of a sing-along, and we were just pulling out songs from the past, Elton John songs, Billy Joel songs, and. Um, Cindy Lauper and um, what other ones? Just old, even old Osmond, Donnie and Marie Osmond. <laughs> we were doing like um, uh, commercial jingles. We were doing oh TV shows, TV shows, old yeah. TV shows. We were singing like the Brady Bunch and the Beverly Hillbillies and the <laughs> and uh, Green Acres and and we all like I'd play it on Spotify and we'd all everyone singing along. We all knew the words and we would just. Uh, pulling out some songs and we just all stood in a, in a circle just kind of sway into the music and singing and what's really great about that uh, pavilion the acoustics in there oh fantastic really great Fan acoustics everyone sounded great we all sounded I mean so there were good. great singers yeah just but, amazing singers but the acoustics in that pavilion were fantastic yeah, yeah. yeah. that woman uh, Renee the other Renee she was an amazing singer oh. So we went around and said, what's your favorite song to sing? What's your favorite song to sing? So, because uh, clearly there were singers there, people that knew how to sing. And uh, we all took a turn picking our, picking our favorite song to sing. And she sang the Linda, Linda Ronstadt's Blue Bayou. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. I just got chills when yes. you said that. Yes. Remembering it. She, I'm not going to forget because her, she's got some pipes on her. I'm she telling got pipes. you. Yeah. She and she's a dancer, sing. good dancer, too. And she, was hit, she hit those high, those high parts. Like we were, we were hooting and hollering yeah, for her. Yeah. And then you picked. Who did you pick? Uh, my go-to is Tracy Chapman's "Give Me One Reason." So yeah. I did that so one. So that was her solo. <laughs> my favorite song to sing is um, "There Are Worse Things I Could Do" by Stockard Channing in the in Greece. I just I just love singing that song. Great song. Yeah. It's not my favorite song in the whole world, but it's my favorite song to sing. And um, uh, anyway, everybody took a turn picking their song and singing it and uh it was just oh we were just cheering each other on and uh you know just 
hollering out songs and playing them. And like I said, Elton John, um, someone, someone, uh, someone saved my life. Someone tonight. saved my life tonight. Someone saved my life tonight. Oh my God. <laughs> and there's like a bazillion words to it and we're all remembering them. And it was just like, you know, we all don't know what, what we did yesterday, but we remember those songs That's right. from way That's back right. then, you know, it was just so much fun. The energy, the energy was so much fun. And uh, that pajama sing-along dance party for Tuesday night is going to be on the schedule for the next meetup. Yes, yes, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, and uh, so I'm so grateful to be here sharing this moment in time with Renee, and I know that we'll be parting ways um, in a couple of days. I have some plans with family that are nearby that I'm going to spend a couple of days with that are also visiting here from Massachusetts. And, um, but then we have plans for camping together uh, at that water management park. There's going right. to be four of us, and um, four of us that I know of anyway, that we've, <laughs> we've registered there. So uh, we'll do that camping, and that's the... 24th I think I believe so 24th yeah. for like three nights yeah and then uh, uh, and then who knows who knows but uh, so the few days that I've been here on the beach one day I got an email that said Lulu I'm jogging the beach and I think I just saw your your van is that you in this location and uh, I was like Yes, it's me. By the time I saw it, it was, it was too late because she had already jogged and left because she said, Do you, are you up for company? But I, I didn't see it, and so she was long gone. But I said, uh, I said you know, I'm, I'm leaving the beach now. And uh, there, Oh, which reminds me, we park here during the day, and at night, I wanted to say where we go at night, so every night we leave right around the same time, and we go right down the street, like exactly one mile. And it's a parking lot of a grocery store that somebody here, somebody here that um, that stays on the beach all the time that I've gotten to know over the years. Um, the first year I knew him, he wouldn't tell me where he parks, and then uh, he just evaded the topic <laughs> when I brought it up, <laughs> and I got the I got the message loud and clear. He ain't sharing. Right. The next the next um, year. He remembered me, and he said, uh, oh, yeah, there's lots of shopping plazas and parking lots down there that, that you can park in. And it's like, oh, he wasn't telling me, but at least I got narrowed down that he goes to, like, a shopping plaza, you know. And uh, But he still wasn't telling me, and I wasn't going to pressure him to ask to tell me. And this year I saw him, and he and when I pulled up, he was like, Lulu, how you doing? I was like, oh, you remembered my name. <laughs> and... Uh, so this time he told me the exact location. So I had to earn that. So you, you got to earn it, you know. Right. Not everybody wants to tell you where they park because if he told everybody that pulls in where they park and they're just, you know, random, he, he doesn't know if they're going to be respectful of the property and, and, and then just ruin it for him. You know, it's his spot, you know. Right. So, um, but he did tell me. He trusts me. <laughs> so I told Renee right away. I didn't make her wait three years. <laughs> It's a nice spot too. Yeah, it's a very nice spot. Yeah. So it's and do we just pull right in there, turn pull off right the car, in. go to sleep, yeah, and wake up the next morning. If you need groceries, you're right there. If not, you just I just hop in the front seat, take off. So getting back to this woman, Ruth, who was at my meetup. Hi, Ruth. So um, by the time I saw her email and then I got back to her, she said, uh, you know, would you like to get together tomorrow? You know, so uh, she offered for me to come to her place, which is right down the street. She offered me to come to her place to do laundry if I wanted, um, uh, to do anything. I shower, you know, cook. I could do anything I wanted at her place. But, you know, I was all cozied into the beach and I had some uh, commitments on the phone that I needed to make some calls. So I said to her, how about if I just come by for a visit later on? So I went over about 1.30. I stayed for about an hour. And... It was just nice to see her, and uh, she's a lovely woman. She opened up her home to me, and um, the only thing I really needed from her was some water, so I filled my water bags up at her sink, and um, and then I was on my way, and it was nice to spend that hour with her, and I really appreciate making these connections and, 
meeting these wonderful people. So then last night, the sun came out yesterday afternoon. Oh. It was like, oh, oh. <laughs> the sun is out. We got our chairs really quick. It was still a teeny bit windy and it wasn't warm. We had to have hats on. It was a little because of the wind. Only a tiny bit. Tiny bit. Yeah. But the wind was still there. It was enough to chill the ears, you know? Right. So um, she's got a nice, cute little hat. I've got that big, <laughs> that big hat that I got to sleep in. And I was like, I have to wear it on the beach. So I just had a little sweatshirt on and I had that, that big goofy hat on. I, I, I got to get myself a regular little hat, or just like an ear band, you know, just to go headband that goes around. But the even head. with the hat on, you were recognized. There was a passerby and she was smiling. I knew she was going to say something. You did? And the first thing she said was, Lulu. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh, look at me with this hat on. I was like, I'm even with the hat on. <laughs> yeah. I was looking at her. The sun was kind of in my eyes and I was trying to figure out who she was. And she's like, oh, you don't know me. I, I know you. And that's how it always starts. And uh, her name was Lisa. And she told me she's been at the uh, book study club Zoom meetings. And she's been at the healthy eating, healthy life um, Zoom meetings. And she watches all my videos. And uh, she was thrilled to meet me. And I was thrilled to meet her. And so the three of us had a nice nice conversation and so when she was ready to leave I said how would you like to dance with me and she's like okay and uh, so I was like come on ladies the three of us <laughs> <laughs> and I said she goes can we practice for us she's like I know your song I was like you do she knew all the she knew all the words to my song it blew my mind I was like you know it and uh, she sang it. She sang the song and we danced. Here it is right here. <laughs> How great did we do? Oh my gosh. It was, it was the best thing. And of course yes. the cars are going by. They're probably like, well, look at these three ladies. What are they doing? So we're singing at the top of our lungs. I yeah. used my Bluetooth speaker, had it nice and loud. And, uh, and we, were singing, we were singing at the top of our lungs. And it was just, it was so much fun. It was So fun. much fun. Yes. 
So after that, we had a beautiful sunset. Did we have a nice sunset? Oh, gorgeous. Oh, nice was, orange sky. It yeah, was beautiful. After the sun had already gone down, like no more ball. You didn't see the ball anymore. Right. The orange, I've never seen like that kind of an orange. It was like a rusty orange. Uh, it was just the most beautiful. It just it just went like the whole length of the beach. And it was just gorgeous. And we just uh, drank that up. And then off we went to the grocery store <laughs> to sleep. <laughs> and I slept for 10 hours last night. I was pooped. I was pooped. And I slept like a rock. So she went and did some laundry this morning. And I came back to the beach. And what I did was I spent a little bit of time on my comments on my channel. I am way, 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 way behind. As you know, I read every comment. I enjoy every comment and I like to respond to every comment. If I just give, send you a little heart, just know that I'm not just getting rid of you because you know, I'm just not clicking hearts. It's because I read what you wrote and I love it. So that's why I click heart. But there's some that I just need to respond to because um, especially people that are um, telling me about their hopes and their dreams and people telling me about uh, what they're doing different in their lives to serve themselves well. And I just, I, I, I love that and I want to give it a heart, but I just, there's some things I just, there's more to say. So when I don't have time, they build up. So I'm, I'm looking, I'm like 12 days behind. So I, I just replied to a lot this morning and, um, and I love doing it. It's just that I don't always have the time to do it, but um, just know they're, they're piling up and you'll hear from me one day. <laughs> oh. So anyway, this afternoon, um, it's supposed to rain later. We're going to wait till it rains. As soon as it rains, then we'll leave the beach because we ain't going anywhere. <laughs> We're going to just sit here and enjoy this. It really feels nice. It feels, oh, no wind. No wind. I'm so glad there's no wind no today. Wind. That been, wind was brutal. And it was like, what, was it two or three days in a row? Oh, my just goodness. Just like the palm trees were like going sideways. And, and it was like, oh. The first day was the worst. Yeah. Yeah. But it's no wind today. And then we're going to go to Planet Fitness and grab a shower. I'm so grateful I have that uh, membership. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a hot minute <laughs> since we've had a hot shower. A little shower. bit. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, we don't stink, though. No. 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 We're good. You know, showers are overrated. You need one once in a while. Um, but what I love about my Planet Fitness membership is for $23 a year. No. <laughs> $23 a month. <laughs> For $23 a month, I can use any Planet Fitness in the country and I can take a guest for free. So I love, I, my little uh, guest list is starting to build up on my phone. But once I register her on my, on my phone and fill in the information about her, then I have like this code that comes up that I can scan me in and then I go to her name and there's a code for her and I can scan her in. And then, um, and then off we go to the showers, and um, they're always hot and always feel good. I always stay under there way longer than I need to, just because the hot water pelting on your head when it hasn't happened for a long time feels really good, really good. And just all that suds everywhere. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is good. <laughs> you just appreciate the, the little things again, you know? Um, but the, the biggest uh, the biggest challenge being on the beach is keeping the sand out of the mm. out of the van. See, like the bottom of your shoes get all There's sand. There's sand everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. What I what I kind of do is I like because because I'm neurotic about the sand getting in. I have the little brush, the little dustpan and brush, but I just have that brush, and I take one shoe off and I brush it while I'm out here, and that foot stays off the ground. Then I put that foot up inside the van, take my other foot off the ground, take that shoe off before I get in the van, put my foot down on the van, turn around with the shoe outside the door, and then brush that one off. This is what I do. I've got it down to a science now. Before, she was brushing the van when I got here this morning. I, I, I sweep a lot. I sweep a lot. And that was, that's even doing that with my shoes because you just, it just gets in, you know. But you gotta, when, you're, when you're at the beach, you've got to sweep a couple times a day, a few yeah. times a day. Yeah. Yeah. So, Renee... Uh, what are your plans for the rest of the winter? 
I plan to stay in the Florida area. Um, I'm just going to travel around. I've got some friends in Orlando. I've got a friend in DeLand. My son also is in the Orlando area. Uh, I haven't talked with him, but I'm sure that I'll uh, hook up with him at some point, yeah. you know, for yeah. a day maybe. Yeah. And then there's other meetups, potential other meetups to go to. Yeah. You're on the wait list. I'm on wait list for <laughs> potentially other meetups. And what I'm doing is I'm going to spend the end of this week with uh, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. And I'm going to uh, probably come back to the beach. That's probably what I'm going to do. People, beach. People, beach. <laughs> I actually connected with uh, one of the women from the meetup. And uh, I think I'm going to go and find her tomorrow. So I got oh. a little, little driving to do. She messaged me earlier today. I haven't responded yet, but I think I'm going to go and find Your where new friend. she is. New yeah. friend. New friend. Like also, what do you see for the future? For the future with your van? Like obviously to get it all set up the way you want it, which this is the perfect thing to do, is to be in it for a few months, unbuilt, and then all the ideas come. That's my, my entire floor plan came to me with my temporary build. It just came to me. I was like, I can just see it, you know? Um, and that will happen to you. So other than that, like uh, as far as traveling, what do you foresee as far as your adventure? So Eventually, I want to do a cross country. I've never been to the West Coast, so I'd like to get out there and see what I can see. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. I've been to the west coast, I've been to south, but not north. I, I, would, I would love to do Oregon and Washington State. It's supposed to be beautiful. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'd love to, yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So, Renee, I will see you down the road, girl. I'll see you down the road. Yeah. We're going to hit the showers later on today. She's got plans tomorrow. I got plans the next day. But we'll see each other down the road. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Meet, see you down the road, girl. So bye, bye for, for now. now. <laughs>